now in the largest and grandest room in the Royal Yacht Britannia, the State Dining Room. Here, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh entertain their guests in spectacular style. Through these doors have walked some of the world's most powerful figures to accept the ultimate honor, an invitation to dine at the table of Her Majesty the Queen, Sir Winston Churchill, Rajiv Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Bill Clinton, Boris Yeltsin, Ronald Reagan, and Margaret Thatcher all have taken their place in history aboard this royal yacht. What made a banquet on board Britannia quite unlike anything else was the careful planning, the minutest attention to detail, and the impeccable style with which the whole affair was carried off. It took three hours to set the 56 places for a state banquet, with the position of every knife, fork, and spoon was meticulously measured with a ruler. The menus, which were printed in French long before Britannia set sail, were given to each guest to keep as a souvenir of a very special night. In earlier years, the dining room also doubled as a cinema. Then the large white panels at the end of the room would hinge back to reveal a film projector. Silver gray carpet could also be rolled up to expose a wooden dance floor beneath, although the last time this was used was for Princess Anne's 21st birthday celebrations. Today, the state dining room is still used for exclusive corporate hospitality, and companies entertaining on board experience the same meticulous attention to detail and high standards of service that Britannia is famed for. Around the dining room, you can see many of the gifts which the Queen was given during state visits to Britannia. On this side of the room, there are, amongst other things, a ceremonial pink killer from the New Hebrides and a wooden carving of a shark from Pitcairn Island, signed on the back by all the adults living there in 1971. Look about the outlines of the dining room. You can see a long string of red feather money found at each end of the leather, which was given to Prince Philip in Santa Cruz in 1957 and was reportedly worth 15 pounds. There are three mementos ranged along the end wall of this part of the room. On the far left is a huge whale ripper, which Prince Philip picked up from a beach on Deception Island. Next to this is a sword dating from 1738. 